Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about T-Mobile Home Internet. I've had it for two years. Is it still any good? How fast is it? Let's jump right in there. And right there you can see the software version down here as of November 19th, 2022. It is 1.2201.00.0324. And the last version I had, I do believe it was, or the last time I looked, it was 1.2201.00.0313. So it's went up quite a few numbers since then. But uh, let's go over here and look at the primary signal. And you can still see we're still only getting two bars of signal. The gateway is still in the same spot it's always been. And you can see some of the uh, numbers there on the primary signal and the secondary signal you can see that as well and like I said I've had it for two years and we've only had a couple little issues here and there but they've seemed to work themselves out had a couple hardware issues with a couple of the gateways that we've had uh, the first gateway we had was the white box the very first one they come out with and it stopped working a little while into the, into it and they sent us the trash can model and that's what I still have now is the trash can model and it's it's been working fine. Uh, the first one I had of that one went out, and they sent me another one. The second trash can model I had, something went funny with the uh, hardware or software or something, and it kept rebooting itself over and over again. They sent me another one, and ever since they sent me that one, it's been working fine. And I did notice that there was a software version somewhere in between, I think it was March, February or March, of uh, this year or for like a month straight it was just acting up and they finally updated the uh, the software and then, and then it worked fine and you can look right up here guys and i will post a link for the playlist for my t-mobile home internet from start from when i first got it two years ago around october of 2020 till now and you can see some of the issues i went through with uh, some of the hardware some of the software and what it was doing uh, some speed tests and stuff like that and also by uh uh, getting the fan to uh, cool off that trash can model because uh, we're using it as a router and a modem too and they say that when you're using that wi-fi on there it it gets really hot and i've done some temperature tests so if you check that link out you can see some of the temperature tests i've done before and after how much cooler that fan uh, really helped out and i'll leave a link down below too in the description if you want to check out the fan that that i'm using it's not that much and it's got a couple settings from high low and medium on there and it works really really well but let's go do a speed test right now let's see what we're doing right now at 12 55 p.m november the 19th 2022 let's jump right on in there and we'll try the google speed test first see what we're getting here and we'll go back and see what bands i'm on as well that always determines how fast the speed we're going we're going to get download and upload not doing too bad though that's that's pretty good we've got 138.5 megabits per second download 10.7 megabits per second upload that's not bad at all not bad at all let's run the uh, speedtest.net i like to do that one as well let's see what we get here pretty similar so far looks like we're getting a little bit more upload right now at this particular moment and like I said it does it does uh, the bands do determine your speed for sure and I wish there was a way to band lock which bands you want so it would stay on the bands you like but that's okay as long as we're getting speeds like this it, it really don't matter let's go back and look and see what bands we're on all right here we are on our primary signal we can see that we're on band b2 that's a good band to be on and right there on the secondary signal you can see we're on band n71 that's not too bad 
I have noticed that on the primary signal, if we're getting the B2, we get some really good speeds. And if we're on N41, on the secondary signal, we get even better speeds. Not bad at all. And I haven't had to reboot this thing in so long. Let's go back to the overview and I'll see how long it's been, been since I have uh, had to reboot. And this is the page we were first on. And you can see right here, it's been nine days and 16 hours since the last time I had to reboot. And I didn't really have to reboot it. Uh, the little one was doing some schoolwork and saying it was kind of slow or something, but it could have been the uh, it could have been the website she was using as well. But she gets in there and reboots that thing every once in a while when she thinks it's slow. So, but it's been right at almost 10 days since we had to reboot anything, and that's and that's pretty good. We probably haven't had to reboot this thing maybe twice in the last few months, so that's that's really good. And the only reason it was rebooted because the little one thought it was going too slow. So. Let's go back and jump over here and see. It looks like the uh, secondary signal has jumped up to three bars. So let's go back to that speed test and see if that changed anything at whatsoever. Looks like we're getting close to about the same, so not really. Looks like the download speed might be a little bit slower than what it was. That's some pretty good speeds for uh, $50 a month. Not bad at all. Let's go back and do uh, the Google speed test real quick. The other day I ran a speed test when we got back from a little vacation trip and I just wanted to see what it was, uh, what the speed was and it was actually like 220 megabits per second download. It was really, really good. So just about every time I'm doing a speed test, we're hovering in between somewhere between 100 megabits per second download, which is awesome. And any somewhere in between 10 and right there you see 26 megabits per second upload and it, it jumps up between 10 to 30 all the time and the uh, the downloads anywhere between 100 and 200 most of the time so that's really good so after two years I'm still pretty satisfied with T-Mobile Home Internet it works great and like I said for 50 bucks a month you can't beat it especially for what we we can get here in this area and right here in this area we only have uh, Spectrum and one more other option I think it's Embark uh, they might have changed names, but it's it's a DSL, comes through your home phone line, and the max speed from that internet is only 20. They guarantee 20 megabits per second download. So, and that's $50 a month. They guarantee, I think it was 20, 20 megabits per second download and five megabits per second upload, somewhere right around there for $50 a month, around the same price as T-Mobile Home Internet. And you can see I'm getting uh, 100 or more megabits per second download upload and uh, 10 to 20 to 30 megabits per second upload speed. So I really appreciate you coming over. I hope you got a little bit out of the video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment down below, check out the description where I've left some links for like the fan and a couple other things as well. And if you like these kind of videos, make sure you ring that bell for future video notifications. Thanks for coming over. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And as always, plan, prepare, and practice. Handy out.